we're currently at the Interstate 465 installing the sensor on the concrete pavement job using the sensor to measure the compression strength of the concrete. We're planning to use this to replace the flexural testing and also time dependent to the policy for opening traffic. So this sensor is called a piezoelectric sensor. Piezoelectric is scientific effects which we can directly convert electrical energy into mechanical and vice versa. So by using this sensor, the students will tie the sensor on the piece of the rebar and put it in the concrete. The concrete worker will pour in the concrete on top of the sensor. After one hour, we will start to conduct the impedance analyzing. When the concrete is start to record hydration, so the water will react with the cementitious material and the grain size will get larger and larger and concrete will get harder. We can use the vibration wave to see stiffness of the concrete. By measuring the force over the velocity, which we call mechanical impedance, we can understand the strength of the concrete at a certain time. So in this way, what we did is we directly measure electrical signal rather than heavily conventional mechanical data. And every hour, every single hour, we take a measurement until 12 hour. And then we analyze the data, we get the uh, predicted compression strengths of the concrete and we get the feedback to the field engineer. Because of faster tracking construction schedule, concrete often exposed to the traffic too early, so which caused the, what we call premature failure. So therefore, we have to frequently repair the concrete. We're gathering this data, and then we try to make a suggestions to the DOT and to help them to understand when will be the best time for the traffic opening, and hopefully we can change the current policy and then can benefit our taxpayers from the cost and the traffic scheduling standpoint.